Remember Sky Pirates? They were briefly on the list with the likes of Flintlock and 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 and, and Kyron. Well, here's their, their. I think it's their boss. It, he's literally an evil genie, a jinn, if you will, not a con. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but honestly, I don't really care. This dude has three abilities, and their usefulness got him into the finale of the series at number 10. First, as is a staple of all Sky Pirates, is that he has the bomb ability, which all Sky Pirates have, in case you forgot. The second ability he has is all about his sword, and he has Vine Cut. Uh, finally, his last ability can be seen from looking at his torso, the forearm handle ability. Yes, this is not exclusive to Garmadon, um, Obviously, we've already established, but it's uh, you know, he's the reason why it's here. Um, but yeah, Natakan is the bad guy in the show apparently, uh, but he's pretty useful in this game. So how about we exonerate him for his crimes? Okay. Oh boy, we're finally at the main character of this film, and he actually takes up a majority of the final 10. Why? Well, he has a whopping 6 variants, while all other ninjas have had either 4 or 5. In addition, Lloyd has 3 abilities, so I'll, we'll have a bit to talk about for these next few segments. But also some stalling, which I'm going to do for, for this one. I'll cover his abilities, but for now I'm going to talk about his high school variant. Well, I mean, here it is. I like his hair, and that's about all I got. Anyway, let's go on, talk about how I think the other ninjas were robbed in this movie by Lloyd, especially Kai. Now, I know I talked about this a lot. In this movie, you know, it was obviously the weakest of the four Lego movies. I, you know, the OG Lego movie was the top. I'd say Lego Batman second, Lego Movie 2 next, and then this one. I don't necessarily think this movie is bad. In fact, I like the humor a lot, but I just thought it focused too much on Lloyd. In fact, that's the same reason why I lost interest in the show. It's almost as if the good guy, bad dad dynamic they're trying to do is uh, not working. And in fact, it's a little overdone. <laughs> There are so many variants of Lloyd, and I can't wait to get through them all. Here is the unmasked variant, which isn't a surprise because it's following the trend of the other ninjas. I don't even know what to talk about, which is sad because he's the main character. I guess we can cover his first ability, which has something to do with his weapon. You know, the one they gave to Lloyd um, and made them slightly alter Kai's weapon. Yeah, his sword. Lloyd has vine cut. Big surprise. Wait, wasn't a big thing about the first season of Ninjago? the four golden weapons whatever happened to that i mean there are six ninjas now so there aren't enough gold weapons to go around i'm sure nia wouldn't get one uh lloyd would get the sword because he's shoehorned started the show and i guess let's let's say for the sake of the argument kai would be given zane's golden shurikens um and then yeah uh you know because zane is probably the least important Nah, actually okay hear me out so Lloyd is obviously going to get the sword because he's the main one. Nia, I would say, wouldn't get one. I think Kai would get Cole's scythe and then Cole would go golden weaponless. Because I think Zayn has a little bit more importance than Cole in terms of, like, you know, go things going on for him. Okay, okay, what? So training Kai can't be Kendo Kai when he obviously is, but Lloyd gets to be Kendo Lloyd? Why do they hate Kai so much now? Like, what did he do to get the constant bad treatment? I don't even know, and I should probably stop before I get too mad. But, you know what? There's nothing to talk about with this Lloyd. I mean, sure, there's probably a lot, a lot of lore about him on the show, but nothing for the movie. Oh yeah, Lloyd's second ability is something we haven't seen in a fat minute. The ability is fast build. I, uh, like I said, we haven't seen it since Ed and Edna on the opposite side of the list. Like I said then, fast build is typically an extra that you unlock somehow. But in this game, it's just an ability. In the grand scheme of things, it's not that important since every character can build. And Lloyd can just do it slightly faster because, you know, of course he can. <laughs> So we just passed the halfway mark of the Lloyds, as in I've covered three of the six variants. Here is his standard variant, which I'll admit looks, you know, pretty nice. Now his final ability is exclusive to Lloyds, and similar to something in a past LEGO game. Now as we know, Wu said that Lloyds special element is green. Not plants, not money, just green. 
Now, this is revealed later in the film that it means he's a master builder, a group of people from the Lego movie where they can build freely instead of having to adhere to instructions. This is incorporated into the game as Green Spinjitsu, which functions exactly the same as the master building ability from the Lego movie game. Now I haven't covered the Lego movie game yet on this channel, but Green Spinjitsu is exactly like it, where you have to target three bundles of pieces that have a green outline, and then you use them to build something big. Even the Lego movie game, the master building ability is green. I'm not sure if that was a coincidence or some like just really good foreshadowing, but it works out perfectly. Here is a special variant of Lloyd in the sense that you can unlock him in the game. Yeah, that's right, you have to do something a little extra. If you go into the pause menu and press enter code, you have to enter a code to unlock this variant of Lloyd. How do you get the code? Well, the code lies within a DVD or Blu-ray of the film. At first, I thought each code was unique, so I would have to buy a DVD just to unlock this character, but thankfully, it's the same code no matter what. In fact, here you go. I'll put it on the screen for you. There it is. Uh, if you have the game and haven't unlocked him yet, there you go. Go ahead. I don't care if you don't believe me. I want to thank the guy, whoever it is, who actually went out and bought the movie on DVD and Blu-ray to retrieve the code and then put it on the internet because I know no one else was going to buy the movie. Anyway, I put Hoodie Lloyd this high because of, you know, the extra effort you need to take to unlock him. He plays the same, but, you know, I want to I feel like it was worth my time, you know. Even though the Hoodie Lloyd takes more effort to get in the sense that you actually have to get off the game and look up the co code online to get the character, unless you're really good at guessing, but he still doesn't top the classic Lloyd. Technically, the real classic Lloyd would be him and his Garmadon fanboy getup as a 10 year old kid, but I guess I'll settle with this guy who is, you know, uh, he is superior, I'm not, gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. As always, this guy is the exact same as all other Lloyds, just in the original ninja suit. But as we wrap up the last of the main ninjas, I just want to reiterate that Kai was robbed of the main role in Ninjago, and it straight depresses me every day. He gets bumped to the side for Lloyd with the cliché chosen one bullshit. Instead of being the master of an element, uh, he's the stupid. he has the stupid elemental essence that he uses. He uses. I mean, it's called elemental essence. But it just looks like fart spinjitsu. I'm sorry. Okay, I've, I've taken a few minutes to cool down from my anger with Lloyd. Let's move on to the top three. Before we start the segment, um, though, I want to have a moment of silence for Master Wu. For he would be up here with the top three characters in the game if it weren't for my major misstep of thinking he has basic spinjitsu. Insert moment of silence here. Okay, whatever, I'm over it. Here's another big bad from the show, Master Chen. He hosted the Tournament of Elements, which spawned all of those BS elemental masters we saw throughout the course of the series you know, early on. And this fact is actually represented appropriately in this game. This guy has universal spinjitsu. Basically, universal spinjitsu is the ability to use all of the elemental spinjitsu in the game. That means Master Chen can use fire, lightning, water, earth, ice, and even green spinjitsu. In case you don't know how huge that is, I counted each type of spinjitsu as its own ability for this series. So, I mean, with that in mind... Universal Spinjitsu basically means it's six abilities in one. Lloyd, the main character of the film, has only four. So yeah, this these characters with Universal Spinjitsu are definitely the guys to use. Oh, and Master Chen also has the staff ability. So basically, Master Ch Chen is just exactly like Master Wu in this game, except he's evil. Here is Skylor, again, another character from the show I basically know nothing about. The main takeaway thing to know about this character is that she's the daughter of Master Chen. 
and as Ninjago established apparently, is that the children inherit the elemental powers of their parents. So yeah, Skylar ha also has universal spinjitsu. She spent all of her childhood training to perfect her powers. In fact, she she's come to be known as the Yellow Ninja. In the show, she's the elemental master of Amber. Amber? You mean the stuff that encased the mosquitoes with dinosaur blood from Jurassic Park? No, 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 I won't accept that. Ninjago writers, you have officially overstepped your bounds. I'm really disappointed in all of you. Okay, God, what, what's next? Skylar's going to extract the dinosaur blood and, you know, get dinosaurs on her side? Actually, I shouldn't say that. Ninjago writers might actually do that. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Forget I said anything. Uh, but Skylar has a bow. And she has the target ability. I play Skylar above her father, Master Chen, because the target ability is just better of an ability. You use it more than the Saf ability, and it just makes things easier. But now, it is time to reveal the best character in the LEGO Ninjago movie game. Here he is, the best character in the whole game. You know what sucks though? To unlock the gold ninja, you must collect 220 gold bricks from level completion, open areas, etc. Uh, another thing to know is that 220 gold bricks is also the total amount of gold bricks there are in the entire game. Meaning that by the time you unlock this guy, you will have already completed everything there is to do. So yes. Once you do finally unlock the best character, there will be nothing to do with him besides the battle arena, which you know, I'm not even surprised. This seems totally in character for the developers to do, if I'm going to be honest. What a disappointment. Anyway, the gold ninja is Lloyd when he goes Super Saiyan, I guess. So technically, it's another variant of Lloyd. However, this guy shares none of his abilities, with, uh, and I hate Lloyd as a character, as you all well know. So I consider the Gold Ninja a whole different character. But as we've seen with the last two segments, the Gold Ninja has universal spinjitsu. And as you can see with the swords, he has the sword's ability. So in total, that's about seven abilities that this guy has. Also, gold is always a good look in these LEGO games. So of course, I'm going to be placing uh, the Gold Ninja in a high place. Any, any time of the day, okay? So that's every character ranked of the LEGO Ninjago movie game. As always, it's a ride, and I'm glad I don't have to look at this game ever again. Honestly, on the LEGO game tier list, this is quite down there. You know? Ugh. Anyway, as for future projects, as of now, there are five projects planned, which you know totals out to about six videos, and I'm excited to continue with those. But until then... Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, you know, see ya on the flippity flop.